We are learning more this evening about that high stakes raid. The elite members of SEAL Team 6 striking in the dead of night to save an American hostage. He would not survive, nor would another hostage who was just hours from freedom. ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, now. The White House said today the president had no regrets about ordering the high risk rescue mission even as the bodies of the two dead hostages, American Luke Summers and South African Pierre Corky, were being flown home. It is apparent that these uh, militants were planning to uh, kill Mr. Summers uh, on Saturday. That's why this raid was executed on very short notice uh, on Friday night. After landing six miles away under a full moon, more than three dozen members of the elite Navy SEAL Team 6 made it to within 100 yards of the Al-Qaeda hideout when one of the guards spotted them as he relieved himself outside. U.S. officials say Summers and Corky were both murdered by their captors as the Americans closed in. Tragically, Corky was to be freed by al-Qaeda the very next day. The A group he worked for said today they had agreed to pay a $200,000 ransom for his release, but did not blame the U.S. for what happened. I can't be upset with the United States because this, the United States was acting in their own interest. They were acting in the interest of their own citizen. Any government would do that. U.S. officials said today they did not know about the negotiations for the South Africans' release. And it's not clear what impact it would have had had they known. But, David, it certainly would have been a much tougher call for the president. All right, Brian Ross tonight. Brian, thank you.